At 9 a.m., Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Mary Grady Chitutu, her brother Michael Chitutu, and her personal assistant Joshua Abaho were at the Anti Corruption Magistrates Court in Kororo. Chief Magistrate Joanne Asiro granted a cash bail of 8 million to the personal assistant of Minister Mary Grady Chitutu, Joshua Abaho. Their capacity to meet the bond. For surety five, he submitted that uh, the circle money is not deposited in that account but it is the surety that makes his monthly contribution to the circle and that those are actually just monthly deductions. Council basically rejoined that court finds all sureties substantial. In regard to the evaluation report presented, indeed it is true that the report dealt with uh, two titles and though only one had been presented, the applicant remedied this by production of the second title. Then for surety for being a nephew, this does not automatically mean that he cannot then compel the accused stroke applicant to attend court whenever needed. I do agree with the explanation as given by the applicant's counsel in by the applicant's counsel in that though he is a nephew he is still senior to the applicant for the applicant for the account of uh, f5 i mean surety 5 for the account of surety 5 receiving a circle money that's not true as seen by the bank statement. Then for the capacity of the sureties to meet the bond, I do agree with the applicant that these are government employees in relatively senior positions. With all the above, I find a no merit in the objection raised by the prosecution and do hereby grant the applicant that is A2 bail, having found all the five sureties substantial. Bail is granted on the following terms and conditions. One, however, court imposes strict bail conditions on Joshua Abaho to be released on bail. With all the above, I find a no merit in the objection raised by the prosecution and do hereby grant the applicant that is A2 bail, having found all the five sureties substantial. Bail is granted on the following terms and conditions. One, the applicant is going to deposit 8 million shillings, that is cash. Number two, each surety. Can I believe that all the five sureties are here? Yes, they are here. I've seen three, four. Okay. Each surety is bonded to 150 million shillings, not cash. A2 shall deposit certificate of title to land in block 103, plot 2073, land at Sonde Chagwe, as well as certificate of title for land in block 103, plot 2110, land at Sonde. Chagwe. Prosecution led by Jonathan Mwaganya asked court for three weeks to complete inquiries into the matter. Minister Mary Goretti Chitutu are charged with offences of corruption, conspiracy to defraud government of 14,500 sheets meant for people in Karamoja sub-region. The court will resume on 1st June 2023 for mention of the case. Others charged in the same court include State Minister for Finance Amos Golovi and State Minister for Karamoja Affairs against Nandu Tu, who is on remand on charges of dealing with suspect property. Meanwhile, before Magistrate Asmani Muhumuza, Bogana Road Magistrate Scott in Kampala did not proceed with the hearing of the bail application of eight people who were arrested while protesting over the mismanagement of Karamoja and Sheets. 
This follows the absence of prosecution in this matter. Ivan Chaze, Majeswati Asmani Muhumuza, said 5th May 2023, for the accused to file their bail application. Wanda Samuel Leonard is the lawyer for the accused. Government, Kubanga Uganda and Dabaje Tula Gan Officia DP Pito Yambie. Sawazi no le sevi kongebi nene mugwanga bi to de abam baba siba mukuba wu disa na kubidi ne baba tane ba ina ina na yaba naba faba vayo kuben dulu obale me de chikora chibi chikora chia kuny girizaban tuba wansi abantu be kana moja kuva dababa gamba beba tunaba linda paka di na mumweze kumu ba nyi giri zambali ndaba developing amabati muga tute taba inaka abu yonjo basula ne wafe mchibu gabali kungudo abakala moja abali kungudo bala gabu talimu mativu eli government yenu na haba na abafa abafu deyo kurani lida abakala moja mba sibia mbale mede muba kubia mba guongo baza tugenda kola chife ngaba na Uganda kubanga tetugenda kuzikizela tugenda lumbo ofisi ya speaker tugenda lumbo ofisi zonezi vuna Speaker <laughs> Na ye chino chikenda kuba cha kuige liba na Uganda. Ela ngeenda kuba saba, nze chinde sewa no kuba saba. Ngeenda kuzo mwezi munana. Ngeenda kuzo mwezi munana. Tugenda kube la mugwanga linonga tu sabe dembe ya fe. Akina ababiba mabati office kolo temube la mkubanga muna tugenda baku kunula yu. So no lecho, saba na Uganda. Nchichiba, echiri mugwanga ya fe nene. Chikenda maso, chiku watakuna o mtu wa wansa. Chiku watakunze hasa nieka. Uwaba siwe basi biwa. Ngabalo, 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 kulaga uwe rufuwa mabati. Nechiku watakubulimu na Uganda. So no lecho, uwalilo watula zenti, government taina wakozi. Erona atulaze mbu wanuwali. Obude muna taina kube la, aina kube la muofisi. Ndala, inuwa musangu mlala. Nibageza kufuta nchanga umanyinti government wa muna abasa jabe bonaba afuka. Bali netu wa tuba kubiliza nti nga muna ana. Nga muna ana. We are coming. Meanwhile, the International War Crimes Division Court in Kororo has failed to proceed with a pre-trial hearing of the case where eight people accused in the murder of the former police spokesperson, AIGP Andrew Felix Kawesa and his bodyguard. This follows prosecution's failure to serve the accused, Kasunja Shafik, with the court order. Kasunja Shafik, who was released on bail by this court, has not appeared for the last four court sittings. Prosecution had recently asked court to exclude the accused Kasuja Shafik from the main file so that the case can continue with only seven accused persons. Of course, there are contradictory information of his whereabouts. Uh, some information we get from family members is that he was rearrested. After several search, we found out that he is not in any police custody. As such, we cannot know where his whereabouts are. 
However, like us, court also is not aware of his way about. Therefore, court issued criminal summons, which criminal summons were supposed to be served. After served, then a affidavit of service to be furnished by court. Unfortunately, the same was not done by the state. As such, court has adjourned the matter to 9th of this same month, which is next week. Of course, I intimated to court that the delay which are being played by the state attorney affect the accused persons who continuously come to court. As such, court has granted my prayer of a short adjournment and the last extension for the criminal summons. The presiding judge Alice Komhanj Kaoka set 9th May 2023 for further pre-trial of the matter.